The first is no, about your it. University of Delaware records. Do you agree with the reporting that those records were supposed to be revealed to the public and then they were resealed for a longer period of time until after you leave, quote, public life? And if you agree with that, if that's what happened, why did that happen? Because, look, the fact is that there's a lot of things that of speeches I've made, positions I've taken, interviews that, that, that I did overseas with people, all of those things relating to my job. And the idea that they would all be made public in the fact while I was running for public office, they could be really taken out of context. Their papers are position papers. They are documents that existed. And, and uh, that that when I, for example, when I go, when I met with Putin or when I met with whomever and all of that to be fodder in a campaign at mm -hmm. this time, I don't know of anybody who's done anything like that. And so the National Archives is the only place there would be anything having to do with personal personnel records. There are no personnel records in the Biden papers mm -hmm. at the university. So uh, personnel records aside, are you certain there was nothing about Tara Reid in those records? And if so, I am absolutely certain. why not? Why not approve a search of her name in those records? Approve a search of her name. Yes. And reveal uh, anything not... that might be related to Tara Reid in the University of Delaware records. There is nothing. They wouldn't. They're, they're not there. And if they, had, if it's, a, I, 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 you know, I don't understand what you're, the point you're trying to make. The point there I'm trying no to make is that there are no personnel records by are, definition. The point I'm trying to make is that you are approving and actually calling for a search of the National Archives records of uh, yes. anything pertaining to Tara Reid. I'm asking why not do the same in the University of Delaware records, which have raised questions because they were supposed to be re revealed to the public and then they were sealed for a longer period of time. Why not do it for both sets of records? Because the material in the University of Delaware has no personnel files and it has, but it does have a lot of confidential conversations that I had with the president about a particular issue that I had with the heads of state of other places, that that would not be something that would be revealed while I was in public office or while I was seeking public office. It just stands the reason, the best of my knowledge, no one else has done that either. I'm, I'm just talking about her name, not anybody else in those records. A search for that. Uh, Nothing classified with you, the president or anybody else. I'm just asking why not do a search for Tara Reid's name in the University of Delaware records? Look, I mean, who, who, who does that search? The University of Delaware, uh, perhaps you set up a commission that can do it. I don't know. Whatever is the fairest way to create the most transparency. Well, this is, look, Mika, she said she filed a report. She has her employment records still. She said she refiled a report with the only office that would have a report in the United States Senate at the time. If the report was ever filed, it was filed there, period. If you could speak directly to Tara Reid about her 